And fighting out of the red corner at a even 153 pounds from Sipley's Fight Club, it is James Silfie. All right, I'm here with James Silfies talking about your upcoming fight with USKA. Am I saying your name correctly? Yes. All right, perfect, perfect. James, what, what is your nickname? Juicy J. Juicy J. Okay, because I, I saw your dad posted something else, and it didn't say Juicy J. And I'm like, I saw Juicy J in those T-shirts. I remember that. So uh, we got Juicy J, and you're fighting uh, – uh, his nickname is Riff Rap. So I'm going to have some fun with these uh, nicknames. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Interesting. Uh, you fought for us back in October in Kutztown. Uh, so let's start there. Um, the fight didn't go your way. What did you learn from that? Um, and you're right back on track here. So tell me your thought process. Yeah, so um, I feel like I didn't do enough conditioning for that fight. I wasn't really working my core a lot. And those body shots that I took really, um, I feel like that's what gave him the fight. Because I feel like I wasn't doing too bad in the beginning of the first round. But as I was starting to take those knees, it started to wear me down. Pretty bad. Right. Yeah, I was commentating that fight, and he he did land some very clean knees, and that was the ultimate uh, factor in that fight. So, what have you done differently in pre preparation for this one? Um, I've done a lot more drills defending knees, and I've uh, been strengthening my core a lot more. Before, I wasn't really preparing to defend against knees because I wasn't really sparring with knees either. I wasn't really expecting it. Okay, great. Okay, so to total different ball game now. Very good. So, how yeah. long after that October fifteenth fight? When were you back in the gym? Was it a week, a month, a day? What was uh, it? I'd say about a month. I took some time off to try and um, recoup and uh, figure out what I did wrong. I watched that footage over and over again a lot to try and see where it went wrong. Right, right, right. Yeah. Very, very good. Now, let, let's go back before that. What, what got you into the fight game? What got you into kickboxing? And then what made you decide to fight? So I originally went to... Um, Herbs USK gym because I thought I was going to be doing boxing sparring there and I got there and it was all kickboxing I didn't even have my shin pads at the time and um, uh, that's actually how I got into it he asked if I wanted to do, to do a kickboxing fight and that's where it all started there cool cool and so what originally got you into boxing let's just keep taking this back until we know the first day you walked in the gym <laughs> um my uncle was actually getting into it he fought in uh are you aware of street beefs yeah, I know about street beefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah fought street beefs. I was 14 at the time. I wanted to get into combat sports because I'm really into MMA, and uh, I thought boxing would be a good sport to start out with because it's not too overly complicated. I'd say kickboxing. There's a lot more involved with it. Boxing, uh -huh. there's you don't have to worry about kicks or anything like that. So I just started out with boxing. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very simple. And so uh, let, let's. Uh, you got me on a tangent. Now let's talk about street beefs a little bit. Uh, is that something you would ever want to do? And uh, how how did it turn out for him? Uh, he, he actually suffered a TKO loss. Um, I don't think he was, uh, preparing for it in the right way, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd, um, I'm not sure if I'd ever do street beefs. That's like, I don't feel like it's very organized. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hey, I, I'm in all kinds of different fights, and I, I I work with the bare knuckle fighting championships. You know, I do MMA fights all the time, so I I, I see it from all angles, man. It, 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 it's, it's whatever whatever guys want to do, they want to do. But uh, <laughs> all right. So um, how about in high school? Did you wrestle or anything like that, um, or or is it just you, you got into the boxing because of street beefs, and that was that? Um, I rest. I did wrestling for a month. It was actually probably the hardest thing I ever did. Like the wow. condition yeah. for that is really, it's grueling. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, 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 that's for sure. I hear that from a lot, a lot of folks. Um, so we, the fight is at the signature, uh, event center, which is attached to signature, uh, training Academy. And is it my understanding? Cause I, I was talking to your father a little bit and he said, maybe you guys started out there. Yeah. I went there a couple times for boxing when I first started out. Um, it's a pretty legit place. I'd recommend going there if you're looking to train. Yeah, AJ Hiller does a great job, and uh, this uh, the event center is really cool. So it's going to be a really nice night and a really nice place for a fight. Um, yeah. So now, where are you from? I'm from I've I grew up in Palmer in my whole life, uh -huh. so I've just been searching for places around there. There's not really a lot of um, like serious fighting gyms in the area, so I have to travel a lot. But I mean, it is what it is. You know? Right, right. But you, you're fairly close to your hometown, because I know your your father. I, I didn't know that you guys were that close to Broadheadsville, and um, he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, th this is great. This is our hometown. This is the hometown." Yeah, it's like 25, 30 minutes away from here. Yeah. 
So Flynn Rafferty, that's your opponent, Riff Raff. Um, mm-hmm. So he, he doesn't have a sanctioned fight, but he has a smoker. So, uh, But uh, do you know anything about him, and how are you approaching him differently than you did your first opponent? Um, well, for my first opponent, I did look, try to look up footage on him, but I couldn't find anything, and his only account was private. And I wasn't going to try and follow that because – I figured he'd never. Right. right, right, right. I did find some footage on Flynn, and stylistically, I do think he's pretty similar to the way I fight, but I do notice some differences in where I think he's. Um, I, I see some holes. Okay, I see good, holes. good. Yeah, I, I spoke to him actually earlier today, just by coincidence, this happened. And as we're doing this interview, it's January 2nd, so I'm not sure exactly when this is going to come out. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he's looking forward to the fight. And I know you're looking forward to the fight. You guys are about the same age. So, I mean, this is just going to work out really, really well, make an exciting fight for us. Um, like I said, we're, it's a January 2nd now. The fight is February 10th in Broadheadsville. So what do the next five, six weeks, uh, do you have it mapped out or is it, you know, you do what your trainer says or how, how goes that? Um, I, I usually play it by how close I am to the fight because I don't want to wear myself out too much before I even get to the fight. I want to make sure I'm at my 100% best. And I know a lot of fighters are not 100% going into their fight, but I want to try and make sure that I'm at least close to it. So, right. um, or like I'd say like right in between now and the fight is where I'd be doing my most training. And then as I get closer, I'm probably going to step it down a little bit. And who is training you and where are you training at primarily? Um, primarily, I go to Rat Pack in my town. But for sparring, mm-hmm. I go out to, um, I think it's East Reading Boxing Club, uh, Eric Springs Gym, either that or the U.S. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Irv runs a great gym in there at Kutztown. Uh, and of course, the Rat Pack, uh, you know, I see Nick posted the other day that he may get a few other guys on this card. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, he wants to dominate that sport. He said like he, he has the others. Uh, that's Nick Massington, right? Yeah. So, all right. Very cool. So, you know, let, let's say this fight, everything goes your way. Um, fight ends. They raise your hand. Um, when you look out into the crowd, who are you looking for? Uh. Probably my my family or just my dad, my coaches. Good, good, good. And uh, yeah, there'll be. I, I knew you had a lot of support there at the last fight, and um, really good. So, wh- who do you want to thank or anything before we wrap this up? Anything else you want to mention, or even anything about your training that you, you'd like to mention here? Uh, it's hard, man. It's hard to. I, I feel like you have to have a couple fights until you really realize uh, if you want to be in the sport or not, because um. I don't know, man. There's um, you can train all you want, but there really is a lot of chance that plays into it too. There really right. is. I'm right. that plays into it. <laughs> that, that's a very honest answer. Very honest answer. Yeah. And it is true. You know, I, I, you know, we get people all the time. You know, put applications in, and you know, and we'll, we'll talk to them on the phone or a text, and you kind of see that, man. They just aren't aware of what they're getting into, and I really don't know. You know, unless you're from a gym where there's a lot of fighters, where they can kind of break it down for you. Or like you, you got some experience in there the first time. People really don't know what it, what it takes to get in the ring. You know, win, lose, or draw, man. Things you've already done, 99% of the people in the fight community, um, they haven't done. So that, that's really cool. That's good, uh, good honest answer for you. Yeah. All right, my man. The fight is February 10th in Broadheadsville, PA. And uh, at the event, uh, excuse me, Signature Event Center. And I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I can't wait to see you there. And I wish you all the luck, Matt. All right, thank you, Gary. Out of the red corner, it is James Silphy. And I talked to this young man in the back as well. Now, he's been training uh, for about one year as a kickboxer, but prior to that, he's had three years of boxing experience. 